Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. So in this video, we will take a look at the silver market. So this is a very interesting market right now. We have Wall Street Bets, which is a group on the Reddit forum, which are taking over Wall Street. Last week, it was mostly about single stocks. And since the last couple of days, they have really been targeting silver and the market has actually moved quite a lot on this and there might be something interesting for me there. So I want to show you guys my analysis, what I'm looking at, what I'm expecting to see on this market and so on and so forth. So I think that it will be a very interesting video. And as always, I'm going to try to provide you guys as much value as I can. So just before that we start, as always, guys, don't forget to leave a like under the video. I would really appreciate it and make sure as well that you are subscribed to the channel if it's not already done so you don't miss any new videos coming out. All right. So silver. So first of all, let's start on a longer term chart as we always do. So here we have a quarterly logarithmic chart. So this is the big picture of silver. So what do we have? Well, really since the 1930s right here, we have a big uptrend, just like we can see there. So a big impulse up. And really since then, so since uh, 1980, uh, well, silver did not do much, right? So it went to 50, around the 50 level once. It came back super deep, making this correction here. It came back another time to 50, and now this time it came back to about 11, and now it is right back up here. So the market really has just been making a correction. Now, there are a couple of different ways of how we could look at this correction. So, you know, one thing that we could do is maybe have this trend line on, and then we could see that it is kind of getting smaller and smaller as time goes by. So at some point we might expect a breakout. That is one way of looking at it. Uh, if not, you could also look at it from the perspective of a cup and handle pattern. So this might also provide a breakout here at some point in the future. Uh, I don't think that we necessarily need a bigger pattern than this uh, because we already have uh, something that could be a complete pattern in there. So that is the first thing interesting. So, you know, there are a couple of ways of how you could look at it on the longer term like this. Um, at the end of the day, you know, does that really change something? Not really, because, you know, it's still the same chart, it's the same pattern, and all of these patterns are pointing to higher prices in the future. So, you know, that doesn't really matter um, how you would look at that. Now, if we go on a more uh, short-term chart, so first of all, let's remove the logarithmic chart. So this is how the actual uh, linear chart of silver looks. Um, and as you guys can see, really, well, it's, you know, just like we saw on the logarithmic chart, it's a very simple looking chart. I mean, you have a big uptrend here, and then you have a big correction around the 50 level there. And then at some point, we will expect a breakout. Uh, now, you know, this price here is a bit high, depending on which broker you look at the chart and so on and so forth. So, you know, if you have a different, uh, if you have a different broker or a different charting software than I do, it might not look exactly like this at the topping points, but whatever, it's not really important, as I said. Um, so if we go now on the monthly chart, to see what we have. Well, this is basically what we had. So in uh, 2008, 2009, we started this big up move on silver. We went to 50 bucks. And since then we had a big correction. Uh, this could be the base of the correction. So this could be um, basically the way of how the correction ended. Um, and in terms of the structure of the price, we have enough. And something interesting that we have here as well is this low that was uh, broken during the COVID crisis. Um, and so I'll not get into too much details here because that is something that I reserve more for the course. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you are interested in the course, I know I don't mention it very often, but the link is in the uh, description of all the videos. So if you want to join our uh, community and get access to everything that we do, um, it's in the description. So uh, I'll not get into that right now because it will take very long to explain, but basically just the fact that here this uh, big low um, was broken is actually a very good and a very powerful sign that we might get more upside in the future. So after that, we broke the low, it came straight back up here. Uh, within this up move, I was able to trade a large part of it and I've made some good trades. Um, so this was the trades of last uh, year, basically. And so since then, so we, um, you know, this up move came to about $30. And since then we have been making a correction in the last couple of months. Um, and one thing that is really interesting to see is that if we go on, well, a weekly chart, we can see that very recently because of uh, all the attention that silver is getting, we actually broke above the high of this correction here. Uh, now we are trading just a bit under it because it broke today. So, you know, it's perfectly normal that it just oscillates around the high of it. Um, 
you know, just because we break doesn't mean that we have to totally go right now. We might get a bit of a pause before that it goes. Uh, so there is this possibility as well. But just the fact that it broke this level here is very significant and it can be very uh, interesting as well. It's a powerful sign, put it that way, that we might get more upside in the future. Now, it is not a guarantee. It is not a necessity. Uh, as you guys know, there is nothing that is 100% sure when it comes to trading. It's all a matter of probabilities. So for the upside, I would say that we just need to watch really this level here, what the price does around it. And if we are able to extend this breakout, then I think that it opens the door for further upside on silver. Uh, in terms of the downside, uh, what we can watch is this series of low points right there. So we have the beginning of a slow uptrend right here. So as long as we uh, maintain this uptrend, everything looks good for the market. And then we can also look maybe at this uh, trend line here that we have. So again, as long as we stay above the trend line, everything looks good for this market, I would say. And so if we go back on the higher time frame, uh, what will be interesting, you know, at some point in the future is to see if we are able to break the kind of 50 area right here and really extend this market to new levels that we have never seen before. Uh, now, I believe that this will happen at some point in the future. Now, we don't know when it will happen. Maybe this year, maybe in five years, maybe in 10 years, maybe in 50 years. No one knows. Uh, we cannot predict the future. But I think that one day, sooner or later, as currencies lose value, um, as uh, they keep printing them, right? So quantitative easing and as inflation just picks up and come back strong. Um, I think that at some point in the future, we will see this level being broken. And when we do see this level being broken, well, who knows, we might get, you know, very sharp moves just like we had here or here or here, here, here. Um, and so we might extend, you know, to bigger prices um, in the future. So, you know, here really the top of the market was around 50. But who knows, we might get at some point to, you know, the 80 level. We might get to 100. We might get to 150, 200. I don't know. No one knows. And in reality, you don't even need to know these things. Uh, you just need to ride the trend and see where it takes you, right? That's always something that I repeat, but it's really, really important. When it comes to these kind of markets making new all-time highs, uh, it's not really useful to search for specific target. The best thing to do is simply to ride the trend and stay in the trade for as long as you can. So whenever that we get this breakout, I think it will be a very, very interesting time for silver and maybe that we will see much higher prices and there will be some great opportunity there as well. Um, so that's kind of the idea. That's my analysis. It's not really much more complex than this. As you guys can see, I'm just looking at a few different uh, uh, levels which are really key to the market and just going to see well what the market does around these levels and if we are able to maintain a strong uptrend. That's really the basic of my analysis and it's really not much complex, uh, much more complex than this. Uh, we really kind of saw everything that is important there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't hesitate to leave a like, as I said, and you can also share the video if you want. And um, yeah, so on that, take care, trade with care, manage your money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.